Hi everyone, Liam Magpie here and today I've got something else Jurassic World related and this is the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Cosmo Ceratops. I'm hoping I pronounced that right. This is finally out in Smiths. It was actually one of the first new figures to get put on the Smiths website. It was on there for months and now it's finally out in the UK. So if you really like this figure, go get your hands on it and yeah... I'm surprised to see that this figure is a Legacy Collection toy as I don't understand why it is. Um, I also think that the figure was a, it's a bit smaller than what I thought it was going to be. But overall it looks really really cool. It's really nice to see the Legacy Collection um, packaging again. But obviously it's a tiny little bit different as it um, advertises the new scan code which is here. Um, and then we've got a really cool picture of the T-Rex here and then some sunset and some palm trees in the background with some Tranodons. Looks really, really cool. The Legacy Collection um, logo looks really nice as well. Um, very old school kind of looking. And then there it is on the side of the box here. And then on the top of the box here, it just shows you that it's got an action feature. And then we have... On the back of the packaging, we've got two more available figures here. So we've got the orange Velociraptor and then we've got this one. But I don't want to really get my hands on this one because we've already had a few what look similar to this one. So I'm not getting this one and we've already got quite a few new Raptors coming out. So I'm going to give this one a miss as well. But they both look really, really cool. I saw them both in Smiths and... Yeah, the back of the packaging looks really nice. There's a real cool picture of the figure in action there. And yeah, looks really, really awesome. I'm not really going to go much into the packaging anymore. But um, this retails for, I think it was uh, $10.99. So I think it's a really nice, cheap, cheerful figure. And without further ado, I'm going to get this figure out of the packaging. So everyone, I've got the Cosmo Ceratops out of the packaging and my overall thoughts on it is it looks really, really awesome. Um, there's a few little things I don't like about it and there's a few things I do like about it. But overall, it looks really, really nice. My, one of my favourite things I do love about it is the coloured scheme. It's got mixtures of green. So it's got like this like really light green on its back. It's hard to show on camera, but it's got like little patchworks of light green and then it's got like a foresty moss green throughout the full body and then it's got this really nice faded like burgundy kind of red on the um head and around the arms and face and then it's got some nice bone colouring of um well like a bone colouring around the plate. It's actually got um a paint scuff there which is a bit upsetting but it's not something I can it's something I can fix anyway. But overall the sculpt looks really nice. Um but the things I don't like about it, but it's not a real big deal, is if we're gonna have a look at the face sculpt up close is the eye. Oh so as you can see here the eye is very Small and you can't really see it in this light. As you can, oh, no, you can. So as you can see, it's just a little small painted black eye, which barely, you can barely see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paint in more of a black colour in the eye and really just make that stand out a little bit more. But it's not a real big off put about it, but it's just a bit random. And I really can't wait to get my hands on a few of these because I think these would look really good in heads for photography. But the face sculpt overall is really, really nicely done. It's got some really nice um, texturing and indivits around the nose here. And some bits of like wrinkle lines going around the actual nostril area. And then we've got some nice bit of... Um, lumps and bumps texturing on the nose so we've got a nice little bone popping up here but it would have been kind of cool if they added this white colouring on that horn bit there and on the beak as that's what's lack it's lacking a little bit more colour in these areas and the horns here um but it's not real off putting but it would have been nice if they added this bone colouring on the horn 
horns here on the little horn on its nose and on the horns on the side of the face but they're really nicely sculpted but I do kind of like the fact that they've added this little bit of red going around this green horn just to add that little bit more detail because if it didn't have that it would have been a, a bit more lacklustered but this is the head sculpt up this way it looks really really nice and it's got some white like uh, white lines going throughout the um, plate on its head the skull bit of the head and it's got some really nice scale detailing as you can see here some really nice texturing of scales and um, these horn bits here these spike bits i wish that these was a little bit more risen so you could see them a little bit more 3d than this and um, but still overall really nice and then it's got some nice bit of white fade going around the plate bit there and some nice shape shape shapes going on in the actual sculpt of the little horns going horns or spikes going all the way around here and nicely done here but i just wish that these was a little bit more risen um the other side of the eye is the same just that little black dot really i'm going to fix that because it does bother me a little bit and then the rest of the body has got some really nice texturing and this is probably one of my favorite bits of the sculpt is the body bit. So as you can see, it's got some really nice texturing around the legs with some lumps and bumps and some nice scale detailing around the stomach area with some nice um, rib and muscle definitions there. And then we have the same kind of lumps and bumps on this side, but they're a little bit bigger with some texturing there and then on its back we've got some like little well they're like little lumps but I think these are meant to be like little spikes but they're like flattened down and they go into like a mimmer like a butterfly mimmer image here and they scatter down all the way down to the tail and they're a bit more risen on the tail and then as you can see, we have the scan code bit there, which is nicely, well, I don't think, this is one of the ones what in actually the most nice is blended. Um, but at least I've tried to blend it as much as they can. But it doesn't look too bad when you put it down. But like I said, I am going to get a few more of these. Um, and then it's got some nice texturing and sculpting here. And I just like the little vet and um, the two different variants of green. And then you just lift up the scan code like this. Oh, as you can see there, and there is the scan code. So you can pause away and scan away. And then you simply just push it back down and it's gone. But yeah, the sculpt is really nice it's got some really nice details overall and so as the face just wish they added just a little bit more color so yeah it's really nicely fit it's really nicely sculpted it's got some nice little wrinkle detailing in the neck as well but there isn't really much more i can talk about i'm just going to talk about its um articulation so as you can see here it can move the leg that far forward that far back and you can actually put it out like that and it's on a swivel so that's nice you can it's not got tons of articulation on this figure which I'll explain in a sec but it has in the legs just the same as a lot of the other figures and it's got some thigh articulation where it can move the thigh in and out the leg can go that far back it could pretty much just go all the way around and it can go that far forward and then the action feature is if you push down the tail, it'll lift its head and do like a head button action. So I'm just going to. And there you go. It's quite a simplistic action feature. So you can do a really good like good head body, head button action. And what I've realised with this figure is it hasn't actually got any more articulation in the head. You can't move it side to side. You can only move it up or down. If you wanted to pose it in a different way and keep its head up, I would recommend maybe like, if you do photography, I usually get like the tail 
and just cut out the tail in the um, photography or you could put something in the neck to keep the head up like I usually like put like little slivers of like plastic there and then you can pose it and it'll keep its head up but the action feature is cool the um, sculpt's really nice and the different and the legs stand a little bit different they're not all the same and yeah the feet are painted but that doesn't bother me on this one and yeah but my i'm going to do my overall thoughts and that is if i was to give the sculpt a 10 out of 10 i would give the sculpt yeah i would give that a 10 out of 10 if i was to give the paint scheme a 10 out of 10 i would give it i'd have to say with the horns and the eye and the mouth area i would give it about an 8 out of 10 um articulation i'd give that a 9 out of 10 because it can't really move its head in a different position um so yeah and the action feature i give a 10 out of 10 it's just a nice action features but everyone i am done with this review it is a really cool figure and it's definitely worth adding to your jurassic world collection it's nice to see some legacy collection figures as well um and this is a really cool figure i just thought it might have been a little bit bigger a bit more up to this size i was going to do a scale comparison but i'll be doing some for, um, photography so please follow me on my instagram which is liam underscore magpie because i do a few um, Jurassic World, well, I do con Jurassic World content on there and upcoming reviews and upcoming new toys that are coming out and yeah, there isn't much more I can say they could have just added a little bit more colour and maybe give it a bit more articulation um, but yeah, please like and subscribe to my channel for more toy related stuff I've got some more Jurassic World stuff coming up soon and I've got some other toy related stuff coming up soon so please like subscribe and I will see you all on the next one bye guys <laughs>